morning children and happy sunday to every one of you i'm sure by now you have all gone back to school and how is that going i hope you're enjoying your new classes you're settling down making new friends and having a great time okay today's service we are still looking at myth and truth and we are also looking at angels as we did last week but before we go into the topic for this morning, let's take our identity confession. Are we ready? Okay, let's go. I am wonderfully made. I am fearfully made. I know my identity. I am a child of God. I am bold. I am creative and full of ideas. I am not a slave to fear. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and I am a soldier in the Lord's army. Wonderful. Now, what did we learn last week? Quickly, let's look at it. We learned that angels are real. Angels are messengers from God. Angels protect us. Angels that visit us sometimes. Angels are God's special helpers with special abilities. God doesn't need angels, but he chooses to use them just like he uses us to spread his word. Our focus should remain on God the creator alone. Remember, he created angels as his helpers. We must never worship angels and we shouldn't pray to them either. So today, we are looking at fallen angels. What are fallen angels? Hmm? Are fallen angels real? What does the Bible say about angels? What are fallen angels? What makes an angel a fallen one? The scriptural reference about this we shall see who these beings are. Also, we want to look at who is Satan and what these beings are that we refer to as fallen angels. Yes, the answer to the fact that fallen angels are real is yes, they are real. They do exist and they may interfere in our lives more than we can ever imagine or consider them in our everyday thinking. But not all that we hear about them is true. The Bible says that we should put on the old full armor of God so that we can make our stand against the devil's schemes. And we find that in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. The Bible also tells us that our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authority, against principalities, against the powers of this world. And against all of this, we should remember that even Jesus was tempted by a fallen angel three times when he went into the wilderness to fast for 40 days and 40 nights and we find the story in Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 11 now what does the Bible say about these fallen angels when God created the angels they were meant to be praising God angels praise the Lord every part of their existence appears to glorify God we see this in the four creatures in heaven who cry out, holy, 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 without stopping or ceasing in Revelations 4 verse 8. Angels also, they meet the shepherd in the field during the birth of Jesus Christ. They also sang glory to God. And we can see this in Luke chapter 2 verse 14. Angels also fight spiritual battles. Michael and Gabriel 
fight the prince of Persia in Daniel chapter 10. Spiritual battles happen around us constantly according to Ephesians 6 verse 12. So, angels are spiritual beings, but they can appear in the form of men. And we can find this in Numbers 22 verse 23 and Matthew 28 verse 2. Now, what are fallen angels? What are they? Fallen angels are beings or are angels who decided to rebel against God and they were cast out of heaven. Because they rebelled against God, they will face eternal punishment and torment. And we can find this in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4. Because they have no eternal hope, it is their mission to drag as many people as possible with them into their eternal doom. Now, what makes an angel a fallen one? We know that why they are called fallen angels are because they decided to rebel against God, right? Let us find out how an angel can fall from heaven and never to return. Number one, they rebelled against God. This means that they stand against God's instructions, rules, and regulation. They became envious of the worship of God and how God receives that worship. They even compared themselves to God. And then in their rebellion, they decided to leave heaven. If an angel followed Satan during this initial rebellion, they fall under the category of a fallen angel. Now, the Bible tells us that almost one third of the angels followed Lucifer, who is also known as Satan. We can find this in Revelation chapter 12, verse 4. Now, let's look at some scriptures about fallen angels in the Bible. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 9, they are described as angels that Satan and his cause, they are being thrown to earth from heaven because of their rebellion. In Matthew 25, verse 41, it describes that the punishment Satan and his angels will endure of the eternal fire. We can see it. A never ending fire that they will face. Also in Revelation 12 verse 4, it states that Satan swayed, deceived one third of the angels of heaven to rebel against God. Now let's look at who is Satan. We've heard his name many times. Who is he? Okay. Satan was once known as Lucifer in Ezekiel chapter 21. He is the ring leader of the demons who caused them to rebel against God in the first place. Secondly, Satan is the father of lies according to John chapter 8 verse 44. And the prince of this world that we can find in John 12, 31. Satan will attempt to stop anyone and everyone from accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Thirdly, Satan will tempt us in every way. When we look at Matthew 4, verses 1 to 11, how he tempted the Lord Jesus Christ. It is important to know that Satan isn't God's opposite. So Satan is not the opposite of God. God is far more powerful than Satan will ever be. Satan is not omnipotent, is not omniscient, or is not omnipresent. 
That means Satan cannot be like God in this regard. Now, what we have established from these fallen angels, let us look at it again so that we will not forget. Fallen angels cannot inhabit a believer. That means a demon cannot inhabit you, a child of God. They can only tempt you. Okay? They can only tempt you. And why is that? Because you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. These fallen angels, known as demons, they are not more powerful than believers. They are not. The Holy Spirit in us is far more powerful than the forces of evil. So believers like us, you and I, children of God, we have the capability through the name of Jesus to cast out demons. We see this, we see this referred to in Acts chapter 19, verses 13 to 16. Angels are powerful beings, but all of them have to submit to God. Demons cannot carry out any action outside of God's will or plan. Although they are strong, God is stronger and God's plan will always win in the end. Now, what have we learned today? Are fallen angels real, truth, or are they fictitious, or are they myth? Today, we learned that fallen angels are real. Angels are made to glorify and serve God. However, fallen angels were rebellious. So a fallen angel who stand against God's instructions, rules, and regulation. Today, we also learned that Satan is Lucifer. He is the ringleader of the fallen angels who are also known as demons. And from Revelations chapter 12, verse 9, it was described that Satan and his angels are being thrown to earth from heaven. So this morning, we want to pray that God will give us understanding to know that we are his children. We should always obey his word. We should not in any way be rebellious like those fallen angels that were thrown down from heaven to the earth. Let us pray, children. Our Father, we thank you for this morning's service. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. What we have learned today about fallen angels, let us remember not to be like them, but to obey your word, to be your children, in everything that we do to be responsive to your word and to be good children every day in jesus name we pray amen now what is our memory verse for today are we ready you should write this down our memory verse today is from ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 which says for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places that is our memory verse for today and what it means is that when we are praying we should know that sometimes things happen around us that is caused by these fallen angels but we are going to fight in the name of Jesus and by the help of the Holy Spirit when we pray. Amen. Have an amazing week, children. I love you. Stay strong and be a blessing. This is Auntie Shade. Bye-bye. Super Bowl, this is a very bad time to... Please.
place and time when disobedience destroyed the world. Kiz, where are we? I cannot lock in on our time or location. Do not be afraid. No harm will come to you here. My name is Michael, and you are in heaven. The perfect gift that God has promised to all of his children. It's amazing. What is that trumpet blast? I do not know. to reward you beyond your dreams! How you have fallen from heaven, O oh Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut 
down to the ground. You who weakened the nations. Yet now you are brought down to the lowest depths of the pit. Why did he do this? He thought he could be like God. <laughs> 